Hi, I'm Jeff Fear from M Performance, part of the Yende team here. Today we're going to look deeper into the major change to the N model. So today we're looking at the i30 fastback N. The main change from the hatchback, apart from aesthetics, is actually in the suspension tune. We've been lucky enough to be invited yet again back to the team in Europe to uh, have a, a, a big part of the, the tuning. Back in the, uh, the hatch, we were the only country to be able to have our own specific tune for the Australian conditions because we have such a variety of conditions in Australia. So we were lucky enough this year to get invited back to, to participate. So the i30 fastback end has what we like to refer to as MY19 suspension. So one of the major changes actually in the damper technology, we've had a improvement on the front damper control side of things. So it's the same style of damper, but internally we've got a few new components that makes it a little bit more tunable. So it doesn't um, affect the ride heights or anything else. We, we've finished all around the same, but internally we've been able to produce a damper that is slightly calmer on Australian roads. Um, still has all the body control. So what we now have is in normal mode, we have a calmer, smoother type drive gives you better control on the rough conditions, wet conditions or if you're on the track. Then you come up to sport, it has beautiful body control, again smoother, slightly calmer in the small motions, which makes it better, again, body control. Anti-roll, anti-pitch, we have all that still tuned into it as we did on before. It's a whole new tune on the electronic side as well. Then we go to end mode and again, smoother, calmer, and yet still the aggressive turn in, still the sport feel that we had before, but just takes off the rough edges a little bit better. Then we have our end custom still. So again, we have new damper, new damper internal tune, new electronic control tune, and a slightly smaller front anti-roll bar, give it a little bit better point on the nose. So the MY19 suspension tune has been so successful for us it's actually been carried across to the hatchback later this year. So the fastback calmness, body control, tune in the damper, ARB and electronic control will come across to the hatch. It sort of solidifies to us how important the Australian road conditions in our tuning is because it's now taken global. So the fastback has the same suspension tune globally, only the electronic controls change. So our our assistance we put into the dampers on the uh, fastback has gone global now. So with the carryover of the MY19 into the hatch, the difference in feel will actually be the, the fastback gives a little bit more of an oversteer tendency. It's not an oversteering car, but in turn in you'll feel the rear help a little bit more than what the hatch does. That's due to the overhang. But road control, body control and calmness of the car carries from one to the other. So it's great to see the development we've been doing in Australia is actually being used overseas as well. So other varieties of ends in development will carry forward some of our methods of tuning. So that's really good to see that we're, we're making a difference globally. Mm -hmm. 